Oh, hey, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I think we're going to play another light gun game today. Today I got shooting range. Now, if you turn this game around and look right there, those initials are my wife's initials. So this game belonged to her as a kid. And that's really how I got started collecting. When my wife and I were dating, we were already engaged. Uh, she had moved most of her stuff in with me into my house. The only game system I had out and was using at that time was the PS2. It was the first DVD player I ever had. And we went and stood in line at midnight to buy the GameCube. Brought it home. I think we got Luigi's Mansion and Monkey Ball. Two really good games. We had a lot of fun that night, the next few days. And then she was, we were talking about it one day and she said, well, you know, I got all my old stuff at home. You want me to bring that over? I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, you know what? I'd kind of like to play some of those again. I haven't played them in a while. Let me go ahead and do that. So she brought over a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo, and a Sega Genesis. <laughs> And she had about 15 games for the NES and a handful for the other two as well. Started playing that. Man, why did I ever quit playing these? I messed up as a teenager and sold my Nintendo and Super Nintendo and all my games and stuff. They were long gone. I do have a couple that were my micro machines for the NES. I still have that that was mine. But I did have some in the closet. I had a box with my old Sega Master System 2, the Nintendo 64, and my Tandy Color Computer 2, and I had a few games for those too, so now we went from just one <laughs> to like six or seven sitting there, and we caught the bug. Started going around to pawn shops, yard sales, flea markets, buying up all these old Nintendo games. And for next to nothing then. We used to get them for 50 cent or a dollar or just buy a whole box for $10. If I'd have known then what I know now, I'd have bought everything I had ever seen. Because there was a lot of times like, yeah, I only want to spend $5 a day at the pawn shop. I'm just going to grab these <laughs> and go home and leave a bunch of stuff that I never would have thought would have been worth a bunch of money. But who knows? But pretty cool that we still have probably about 15 of my wife's games and as we started collecting I realized I wanted to keep them separate so I took all her games and wrote her initials on them so that we would always know which ones were hers from when she was a kid. Now I never saw this one growing up. Uh, didn't see it until she brought it over. Now I don't remember ever seeing this, anybody having it or being for rent anywhere, because had I ever seen this for rent, a light gun game, I would have tried it for sure. I've played it some, I don't know a lot about this, but if I remember right, it's pretty fun. Most of the light games are at least fun for a little while. A lot of them are funner with friends. So let's give this a try. This is shooting range for the NES. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. It's been a while since I've played this. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Level one. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember. I know they have little... All the little characters come out with little pinwheel sprites that you have to shoot. If I remember correctly, yeah, you have to use... The controller to scroll the screen to the left and right. So you have to go in one hand, controller in the other. Come on. 
birds can be kind of hard. They're moving too fast. <laughs> He's jumping. That ain't fair. Come on now. All right. Stays clear. The ghost house. <laughs> I remember this. Frankenstein. <laughs> Dracula. <laughs> this would be a good one to play at Halloween. Those little capsules with the E are giving me energy back. What? What in the hell is that? What? What was that? <laughs> What is that supposed to be? <laughs> Everything else here is obvious what it is. Maybe that is to somebody else. You know what that is, leave it in the comments. I have no clue. I wonder if it would be in the manual. I wonder if it gives a care. What is that? This stage is a little harder. Some of these enemies are bouncing up and down, and like the witch that goes back and forth, and that, whatever, whatever this thing is. What is that? There, that witch can be a little tricky. Frankenstein sounds there like a big dummy. <laughs> It's pretty fun. I imagine this would be funner with more people. Get a little competition going, some trash talking. It's on this stage, yeah, I remember this. You gotta hit the bottles as they light up. Faster the better. <laughs> We've got one more stage here. Looks like outer space. Oh yeah. So we went from the Wild West to a haunted house. I guess we're on the moon. Or a moon. Maybe not our moon. <laughs> the alien from the Aliens movie look like.
What's that? Things are kind of tough, and that pattern they're moving, it's tough to hit them. Those are not too bad. Of course, the alien creature just sort of stands there like a big doofus. Oh, hey, hey! What in the world? <laughs> Is this a ball? I guess so. I, I forgot about this. Hey, that was cool. Every stage should have had a boss like that. <laughs> Huh, so 76% hit ratio. That's not bad for not having played it in a while. I'll take that all day long. I don't know why I'm bothering to put my initials in here. Hey, I'm number one. <laughs> You need to work a little harder. <laughs> I hear you. I thought 76% wasn't too bad. I should have at least got silver for that. Come on. <laughs> Seemed like there was something else on here. What was it? Party game. I believe this is one of... Sort of like a whack-a-mole with the things coming up out of the holes you hit. I believe I remember this. It's like it goes pretty fast. Go. Okay, oh yeah. <laughs> you do not need the controllers to move around on this one. Obviously. Yeah, this is a... a a lot tougher. There's no way to hit them off. You try. You'll just mess yourself up and miss more of them. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, those lights on the background there. Man. Missing all over the place. Can't hit nothing on this. Sometimes I feel like I'm aiming right, but it's not hitting it. By that time, I didn't even shoot.
That wasn't very good. <laughs> that was kind of tough. I'm going to blame it on the small TV. I'm using a 14 inch CRTV. CRT TV. That makes the target smaller. That's what I'm going to go with. 62%. Nah, what is good on that one? Like I said, those things are popping up quick, and if you try to get to hitting all of them, you're going to start hitting none of them. <laughs> you need to work a little harder. Like I didn't know that already. Well, that's all there is to that game. It is fun. I could see sitting playing that for a while. If I were to grade it by yourself, I would give it a B. It's a good game. With friends, I think it would knock it up to an A. Because you'd have the element of competition. You'd get the trash talking, everybody'd be cutting up, giving each other a hard time. And and I know we've done that before at some of our get togethers. But this one don't get played as much as some of the other ones. But I know it does get played some. But yeah, well the group is the way to go on this one. But it is fun. If you've got a way to play it, I recommend it. So there you go. That's shooting range for the NES. Uh, glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. I need all the help I can get. And I'll see you next time.